All right, so we're in the sandy today, and basically what I'm gonna go through today is how to set up your flows. Um, and I've, I've tried a lot of different combinations, but I'm gonna kind of show you how I set up mine. I've got a tilt bucket and a thumb and a mower. Um, so obviously I've got some bi-directional, single directional, different flow requirements, etc. And I'm gonna show you how to set up or how I set mine up uh, on the Sani SY35U. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're at the main menu, um, and the way you go in and set this is you basically go here. You want to scroll over to operating modes, and there's a couple of different icons, um, and some of these do mean different things and have different operating things or operating uh, gotchas. This one in particular, it doesn't matter what you really do with the flow; it's not going to send any flow to the auxiliary hydraulics. Um, all of these seem to send hydraulic flow. Um, but they may have little subtle differences. I've heard on some of the larger machines, um, like this hammer mode, there's a breaker mode. If we go back one menu, there's this that doesn't seem to do anything on the SY35, uh, but that supposedly will make the other side buttons on the other joystick actually turn on, which I'd really like to have, but, um, the 35 doesn't seem to have that. Uh, so typically what I did is I kind of got started um with the first icon so this is my thumb setting if we actually go in i've got my flow set to 100 percent um and then i've got uh let's check this one out here so this is for the tilt bucket i only need half the flow so that it it makes it a little bit smoother to control um the thing you got to remember is you always need to make sure that you've actually um, select that, op that operating mode. So like if I'm here um, and I want to select this, it can't just be on that. You actually have to hit this and then you'll see a thing that says it's been applied. So just keep that in mind. And this is for my mower. So I only want it to turn one direction. Um, so I've got this one set up for that. <clears throat> so a couple other things I want to mention. Uh, this does have an effect. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire up the machine. The audio won't be as good. Uh, but I'm going to kind of explain it right now real quickly. So this is like your standard mode. And then there's also like I believe it's called breaker mode. Some of the other machines have um, additional modes. Um, that breaker mode seems to run the machine around in the 80% range. Um, it will not idle up or down, even if you have it enabled. Um, and pretty much the idle control doesn't have any effect. So I'm going to kind of start the machine up here in standard mode and let you kind of see what the differences are. machine started up right now I'm gonna manually turn the volume or turn the uh, throttle up with the dial selector you can see I can set it to whatever I want I'm gonna leave it around 50 just so there's you can see the difference um, so I'm gonna set auto idle on here in a second it's gonna auto idle down so it's idled out all the way down back down to idle if I change this to breaker mode it goes up to around 80%. And no matter what I do with this throttle selector, it does not change it at all. So just keep that in mind. If you get your machine, you can't figure out what's going on. Uh, typically that's going to be what it is. So I'm, we're going to go back to standard. It's going to go to what I have the throttle set to, and it's going to idle back down if you've got an auto idle mode. Um, here you can kind of see what, uh, I'm going to switch back to thumb. Oh. So now 
now we're back in thumb mode. Put her safety bar down. Uh, let me shut the machine down to get some good audio here. So, in closing, uh, that's how I have my machine set up. It's really handy to be able to set those flows. My previous John Deere had a 27C, didn't have this. Um, you're pretty much wide open, and, and it actually had foot control, so it didn't have the nice proportional control up here. Um, I've gotten really used to this. works really well. Um, and especially with a tilt bucket, if you have the tilt bucket and you don't have the ability to like control that flow, it's very difficult to operate that tilt bucket. Um, unless you just spend a lot of practice. And the problem is, is when you take the tilt bucket off and you go back to the thumb, uh, things get a little awry. So I've got it set to where, um, no matter which attachment I have on there, it's a really smooth transmission transition to the other one. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.